Hey there, it's Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger and Forex U-Turn, and today is April 17th, 2012. Okay, so let's take a quick look here at the five-minute Euro USD. I, I just first want to mention again that the filter is A-OK. -okay. There's nothing wrong with the filter. As long as you, uh, you know, go from one chart and then toggle back to your five-minute, everything will update properly. Please ignore the bottom colors in the filter. All that matters is the ones on top, and I assure you they are still 100% correct until MetaTrader fixes this glitch that has caused all, a lot of indicators to double paint um, in the indicator section. Okay, so anyway, here uh, we actually would look, at, look to go short uh, right there. No, we wouldn't have because there was support right there. Bounce off support to a T, see? Had to break through support, then come back up. So when it came back up, right here, that was our first entry to go short. It gave you about 17 pips in about half an hour, and then it reversed and went the other way. Uh, there was no trade signal right here at the ultimate you know, time of our gap entry formation. However, the first time it came back and touched, the trigger line was over here. And as you can see, where there was a setup here and here, and both were winners. Okay, um, and just recently now, after 11 o'clock, yeah, you would have got our first setup right here to go long, that it broke through this resistance. But it kind of, you know, this resistance is very is much stronger than this one or this one, and it broke through there, so it gave you about quick 18, 19 pips there. As you can see, it's pulled right back down again. To the trigger and they're buying off of it again as we speak as I am showing you this because that's what they do okay so that's it for uh, the five minute let's uh, put that back on and we'll go to the one minute we'll take off the auto scroll and we'll look back in time okay so once we broke through support here okay cross down somewhere right in here you would have got short okay and we would have got our 11 pips after about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. Okay, so there's one trade. And was there a trade here? No, because it didn't turn blue until way up here. Okay, so there was no trade down here. Okay. Um, and this is past our window of opportunity to trade the one minute. So we had one trade. It was right there, and it was a sell. And you definitely made your 10 pips. Fantastic. Okay, now the pound, uh, basically here's 3 o'clock, um, it's like the euro, it ran up quickly, it gave you their first entry there, but it was not our ideal entry, even though the filter lined up, unless you just kind of jumped on once you've seen it turn blue. If you did, okay, uh, you would have got in right here, and a total of about 65 pips with about a 40 pip stop. And after that, it swung down, but the filter did not agree, and still there's no setup in the U.S. session. It just happened in the U.K. session, and that's it. Let's take a look at the Swissy now. Same as the Euro. Came down quickly. Our first entry would have been there. Second entry would have been there. And, and here again is our third entry right now. It's just that we're doing sells and not buys. But you see how identical these charts are in an opposite way? Yes, indeed, they are. They... They uh, rigged them together again, as far as I can see. And once I start seeing indiscrepancies, I'll let you know. So it's safe to say that you find a good setup long on the euro. You could probably, right at the exact same time, short the Swissy and make money on both pairs. Or opposite of that, you'd sell the euro and buy the Swissy. Okay, so let's take a quick look now at uh, Forex U-Turn, see if it gave us any opportunities. Oh, it did, it did. And boy, did it screw us here. Okay, we've got a perfect M formation here, but the filter did not agree. So aggressive traders, if you took that trade short, well, you quickly lost because it shot the other way and it came up and got your stop. Now, here's a W, perfect W, to go long. Okay, the filter did agree. 
You would have got long right up here somewhere. It would have went up a little bit, came down, scared you because your stop would have been right there. And uh, now it's doing like flip-flop things here and it's making more false signals. So not so good. But anyway, it looks like the euro is going to head back up. Um, there was bad news on Friday about Greece and it came down and there must have been some recovering news saying, oh, oh, oh. We're going to bail out, we're going to bail out Greece or Spain or Italy or whatever. And, you know, we're going to print up some fake Euro worthless dollars from somewhere. U.S. dollars, Euro dollars, whatever. Euros. And, uh, you know, bail out these countries. Yeah, okay. Anyway, some more BS as we all know it. Anyway, uh, it looks like it's going to go back up the Euro at this point in time. Let's take a look at the pound. Pound, same thing. Gave a fake sell and then a W to buy. But the filter did not agree with the sell. It only agreed with the buy. So you would have got long somewhere up here. But you wouldn't, if you're, if you're, if you're you know, using my knowledge in the course, you wouldn't have got long here because there's too much resistance right here. So you do not buy into resistance. And you do not sell into support. So you would not have done that trade. Okay, so anyway, that's it for the setups for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow, and you all have a great, great day.